And later in life, when he was a gun writer at Guns and Ammo magazine and American Rifleman, he sort of got into a grudge match with Jack O'Connor, the other dean of American gun writers at the time. And they were sort of on opposite sides of the fence. How much of this was genuine versus built up for the public, I don't know. But Jack, of course, was highly educated. He was a college professor. And Elmer was anything but, so there could have been a little bit of animosity based on that. Um, Elmer probably thought Jack was a little uppity, and Jack probably thought Elmer was uh, an old hick. I mean, he probably was, but that old hick was the real deal. He he could do just about anything with a horse, with a camp, with game, and uh, with his guns, and that's what made him so popular. 